Did you know that the dimensions of a beer fermentation tank can actually impact beer flavor? Brewing beer can be a fairly simple process requiring only a minimum of four basic ingredients, some tanks, and a good brewing recipe. On the ingredient side, malt and hops contribute flavor, aroma, and beer color. Yeast converts fermented sugars derived from the malt into alcohol, CO2, and hundreds of additional flavor and aromatic compounds. There are five different types of tanks that are used in the brewing process. First, the mash tun. That's where the grain and the water are mixed and heated to convert starches to fermentable sugars. Then, the louder tun is used to separate the liquid, now called wort, from the grains in the cooked mash. After that, the brew kettle is where the wort is boiled and the hops are added. Next, the fermenter is where the yeast converts wort into beer. And finally, the finished beer tanks are where beer is stored prior to packaging. Now, it doesn't seem to make any sense why tank dimensions matter as long as the tanks are sized properly to hold the volume produced and prevent good beer from spilling over onto the floor, right? Well, believe it or not, beer fermented in a very tall and skinny tank will have a different flavor profile than that same beer produced in a short and stocky tank. Brewer's yeast, like some children and even some brewmasters, can be sensitive at times and may react differently when conditions such as fermentation temperature, pH, and even tank size change. A tall, narrow tank has a larger height to diameter ratio causing higher hydrostatic pressure. Trust me, I'm an engineer. That pressure on the fermenting yeast inhibits their growth and hinders the formation of key flavor compounds such as esters, which give a fruity and sometimes floral note to beers. At Bayersteffen Brewery in Germany, which is the oldest operating brewery in the world, the brand Hefeweizen is fermented in horizontal fermenters. These tanks have a low height to diameter ratio and promote ester formation as a characteristic of that style. Although not a major issue, this just demonstrates brewing is not just an art and a science, but engineering plays a key role as well. Want more behind the scenes brewery science? Hit follow, save this tip, and tag a friend who loves beer. As always, please drink responsibly, and until next time, prost!